Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my signature chocolate mousse dessert cups. These are practically all the ingredients you need. Um, we've got Oreos and butter for the base and then the milk chocolate and thickened cream for the mousse and the topping. You could use dark chocolate if you would like to reduce the sweetness of this dessert. I will also show you how to make a quick and easy topping using white chocolate, which is completely optional. You could decorate these in any other way you like. To start off with, I'm going to crush some Oreo biscuits, just placing them in my um, food processor. The Oreos are all crushed, as you can see. Now I'm going to melt some butter in the microwave and add the butter to the Oreos. Butter goes on. Now I'm going to place the lid on again. Give it another blitz. So this is what we want the Oreo mix to look like. Practically like wet sand or dry mud. Um, we're going to place this at the base of our dessert cups. Now, in my saucepan, I have placed some thickened cream and I'm going to add the chocolate milk. They all go in here over medium heat. And using my whisk, I'm just going to stir the chocolate continuously until it completely melts. And that's it, the ganache is done. Now we're going to set this aside until it completely cools before we continue working with it. I've placed the remainder of my thickened cream in this bowl and I'm going to whisk it or hand mix it um, in my hand blender, this one, uh, just until soft peaks form. <laughs> Now, this is the consistency we want. Um, don't whip it till it, it forms hard peaks because um, you are at a higher chance of over whipping the cream when you mix the chocolate in. So when you do it soft peaks like this, if you uh, fold and mix the chocolate in, it gives you more chance of um, achieving a beautiful mousse texture without it being over whipped. All right, the ganache has cooled down completely. You could put it in the fridge for a little bit to speed up the cooling process. As you can see, it has gone thicker as well. Now, I have reserved a little bit of the ganache in here, um, about eight tablespoons. That's going to go for the topping. And this is what we're going to now fold into the whipped cream. Pour the cooled ganache over the cream and gently, using a spatula, fold them into each other. Um, this is how you fold. So you go from the bottom up, bottom up, until it's completely well combined. Um, do not aggressively mix because you can over whip your cream. And um, the folding ensures that you end up with beautiful, airy, textured mousse at the end. I place the ganache and the chocolate mousse in piping bags. It makes it way easier to fill the cups um, with less mess. This is what they look like once they're filled. Um, then for the layering of the cups, we start on the base with the crushed Oreos. Um, I put about two teaspoons, but it really depends on the size and the shape of the cups that you're using. And then um, use any wooden piece you have in the kitchen to push it down and pack the Oreos at the base of the cups. Then we go in with the chocolate mousse. So as you can see, the piping bag makes it so much easier to fill these cups um, with the mousse. Ideally, I would place this in the fridge for two hours before I add the ganache layer. But honestly, I was in a hurry when I was making this video, so I just added the ganache on top. Just make sure the ganache is runny but not hot when you place it over the chocolate mousse. Then place your cups in the fridge for at least four hours um, before serving. Now I'm going to show you how to make some super cute white chocolate decorative pieces for the chocolate mousse. I've got my white chocolate milk in here. I'm going to place these in the microwave and every 30 seconds I'm going to give them a quick mix and then return them back for another 30 until they're completely melted. Wow. 
once your chocolate is melted, place it in a piping bag. These are the piping bags I like to use. I get them from eBay. They're amazing. I will link them in the description box. I've got a, just a cup here. I'm going to place the piping bag over the cup. Makes it easier to get the mixture in. Pour it in the piping bag. There we go. My chocolate is all melted and ready to be worked with. So a long loop, a shorter and wider one, shortest and widest. And you repeat until you have enough of these decorative pieces for your chocolate mousse. You could totally make these in advance and then store them in an airtight container or something um, until you're ready to decorate your dessert or a cake. The more you practice, the easier this gets. It might look a bit challenging, but trust me, it's not. Once you get the hang of it, you will make it so quickly and so easily. You could place this in the fridge to help the chocolate cool down, but I usually just leave it on the bench top and it cools down by itself. Um, I totally recommend you use Nestle rather than Cadbury chocolate. I find that Cadbury chocolate doesn't set as easily or as quickly as Nestle. Um, so yeah, that's like my favorite go-to chocolate for desserts. And there you have it, decadent chocolate mousse dessert cups that will definitely satisfy your sweet cravings. Find the full recipe in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Instagram page where I share many other recipes as well.